Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mike Theft for those of you who are new here. And for today's video, I'm just so excited to film this particular video because I feel like this was one of my videos that actually took off in the beginning of my YouTube channel. So this is a one year later Ophidia GG card case wallet. So I thought I would maybe show you guys how it has held up for the last year and it's almost we're running on like a year and like two months now that i've had it and i have used it every single day since i have not changed out my wallet this is the condition that i have it in now i do want to let you guys know that i don't normally carry my wallet out just by itself it's honestly really rare when i do that so i do usually carry a handbag or a backpack I sometimes even carry a like a fanny pack type of bag so or like a shoulder bag so I do always have it safe and in like a secure location. I did want to share that because I feel like the way that you treat your items really just has everything to do with the way that it looks and the way that it holds up. I am of course going to be starting off by showing you the exterior of the wallet. I feel like it's important just to kind of cover this as soon as we start. So this is the beige slash ebony Gigi Supreme canvas material here. I know that in my experience, there are a couple of handbags and a couple of wallets where if you have this type of material and it's been rubbing up against different surfaces or maybe different bags, this tends to kind of fuzz up a little and the material will actually kind of like scratch off. I haven't seen any problems with it and I am showing you from this point of view because you'll typically see it fuzz up in the top and I don't see that being an issue here anywhere so this is the back side so i haven't had any problems at all on the gold hardware the only things that i could absolutely just tell is scratches so of course a year into having this wallet over a year of having this wallet i have been taking it in and out of my bag i have used it a couple of times just by itself i've had it like face down it has fallen a couple of times so i'm not too worried about the scratches it's not really that significant where it would be like do or die or like if the hardware came off completely it has held up really really well and i am super impressed now on the leather from what i could tell on here the only scuffs that i can see to the naked eye are just scuffs that are here on the edges like on the corners of the wallet there aren't too many scuffs on the inside it's mainly just the corners but even then i feel like it is really minimal so on here you can kind of tell it's going to be normal it's leather so it is going to wear out over time now i'm moving into the wallet I did decide to leave my things in the wallet. I wanted to be completely transparent with you guys and show you how I have had my wallet. So I have gone as far as putting two cards into one slot. Back here I have three different cards. I have two cards back here. I'll show you guys a little bit more. You can tell that the Gucci made in Italy stamp like a logo is still in here and it still looks perfect. It hasn't smeared. It hasn't like faded or anything like that so everything is still intact the stitching is still in place so that i haven't had any mishaps the only thing that i have noticed inside of the wallet is that depending on how many cards you put in the slots will determine how tight these little pockets will be over here on this side i do have two cards in here so if i take one out do you see how it kind of like falls out automatically? Now the ones in the back, I do have my school ID, I have a coupon, and I have another card in here. So I don't have any trouble here, so this is completely fine. These don't fall out. On this other side, I also keep my card, I keep my driver's license, and I also have my insurance card. Now, same thing on this side. It doesn't fall out there hasn't been any change now moving into the little coin zipper i do keep some change in here not a whole bunch 
but everything still looks the same the zipper still works perfectly i haven't had any problems and i do use it frequently it looks brand new so i haven't had any problems there isn't like a stitching issue it hasn't ripped it hasn't anything and i know that there are some openings here but i never had any problems with any of the coins coming out this is the cash slot here so i do have cash in it for you guys today i know that i didn't have any last time i think what i have started to get into the habit of actually is splitting my money up so i'll usually fold it and i'll put some on this side and some on this side just because if i do have a lot of cash on me it does make it hard to close it so as you can tell if i have cash here and it folds right in the middle so you have cash on this side and cash on this side and you don't have a huge like bulge right here so that's kind of something that i've been doing if i do only have a couple of bills on me i will put them in this way and they do fit comfortably this is my wallet this is one year later i think that everything looks so good and I honestly am extremely, extremely happy with my purchase from over a year ago. And I think that this is such, such a beautiful piece. I'm just so happy that I got it. I did go online just to look just to see if they still had some available and they do. It is currently retailed for $480 and it is available. So if you guys are interested in purchasing it and now that you've seen you know kind of how it has held up i definitely 100 percent recommend this wallet to anybody who's looking into maybe starting off their designer collection this is definitely a really good wallet to get started with but yeah this is the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you still have some questions i'm so so happy to answer them or to make any additional videos that you guys might be interested in i hope that you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all so much.